what you'll need to measure your cost of electricity for a device is a kilowatt meter available on Amazon. I'll throw the link on the description. I'll throw it on the page of the site. Um, you will need to know how much your electricity costs. Call your electric company. I'm in New York, so we have uh, PSEG. Call them up and ask them to give you a sort of average. Peak times is more expensive. Late at night is uh, less expensive, and it's, it's going to range. So for me, it was hard to figure out. I could get it a ballpark by looking at my bill, but um, I just called and asked them to kind of average it, and you were looking for your uh, per kilowatt hour cost. For me, it's 15 cents. Find out what your cost is. You'll need this guy and the website, which I'll show you later. So this is what I do. This light here, it's an LED light, and I use it for growing my vegetables. And I'm curious to see how much it costs me if I leave it on eight hours a day for a month, whatever. Also a grow mat over here. I did the same thing with my grow mat and my T5 lights, especially, especially since I switched from going from LED to fluorescent, I really wanted to know how much extra money I was spending a month. So what you would do is you plug your device into this and plug this into the wall. Okay, I just ended up getting an extension cord and plugging this in. And when I start this thing up, it's always on volts, 120, that's good. I wanna click on wattage, there you go. And I could see this is pulling 46, on average, 46 watts. Once you know that, then you can punch that into your uh, calculator to figure out how much that's going to cost you. And this is the website that I use. I hope uh, they don't take it down because uh, it's bookmarked. It's uh, energy, energyusecalculator.com, and I'll throw the URL on the screen and put it on the web page for you. Power watts, we already know it's 46. And price per kilowatt hour is 15. They have 10 in there. I guess that's a, a good average. But I already know mine is 15 cents. And I typically, when I'm germinating seeds for my pepper plants, I have it on, I think, 12 hours a day or 15 hours a day per day. Calculate. On the left, cost per hour, cost per day, cost per month, per year. It's really, really cool. So per day, that light is costing me 10 cents. Per month, $3.15. Really, really cool. Um, easy to do with things that draw constant wattage like a light. If you wanted to measure or clock something like a computer, um, a computer is going to pull different wattage depending on what it's doing. If it's sleeping, if you're browsing the web, if you're editing video, it's gonna be uh, demanding more uh, for something like video editing. So um, on that kilowatt meter, there's a button. that I've never used it, but you, there's a button on there that you can use. As soon as you plug it in, it will start recording. And you can leave it running for a week, whatever, a couple days, and you can hit that button and it will tell you the average, which is really cool. And then this way you can kind of figure out a little bit more precisely for those devices that pull uh, variable wattage. Um, but I hope you like this and uh, let me know um, if you do. Thanks for watching.